can companies still have an AI model if they aren't on public cloud? And what does that look like for companies? Well, this is where it gets tricky because again, I'll bring up SAP. I picked on SAP a minute ago, but now I'll give kudos to SAP because one thing they they've done and one advantage they have is they've, they've gotten tens of thousands of their customers who are on public cloud. They've gotten tens of thousands of them to opt into training their AI models in helping, you know, helping make the AI models better. So that mass, no, it's not even just the number of companies in, in organizations that are opting in, it's, it's all the transactions and the volumes of users that go along with that. So these are some of the world's biggest companies now saying, hey, SAP, yes, you can use our data to train, to help train your AI models. And that's a real advantage if you compare SAP to like a smaller niche player, they just aren't gonna have that same, you know, training ability for their AI models. So I think there is uh, advantages there um, I think it is easier to leverage AI in a cloud environment just because you've got all your data in one place. And like I said, you can, you can, uh, it's easier to train an AI model across, you know, different users within a public cloud environment versus private cloud or on-prem. It can be done, but it's just, I see why vendors want you to be in, in public cloud to get, take advantage of it.